Welcome back to the Full Stack Inc. channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I'm the creator of Full Stack Inc. Oh, guys, I'm really excited about this video. I'm really, 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 really excited about this, about this video because I did it. I did it, Stylers. I did it. I completed my first pair of pants. <laughs> For those who are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Nadia. As I said before, this is a plus size empowerment channel where I teach you the how to style and make your own fashionable wardrobe while loving yourself fully. Okay, so I did it. I did two things in one. I accomplished two things in this video, two things. One, I completed, sewn my first functional, successful pair of pants, trousers, as you will. And two, I successfully, I successfully upgraded a pants pattern. It only took me two mock-ups. Ah! Ah, I didn't have to backtrack. I didn't have to add any fabric anywhere. I did it perfectly. Now, I'm so excited. And I don't want this intro to be any longer, so I'm going to get right into it. I am going to be using the Astrid Pants from Mood Society Log. It's a free PDA, um, it's a pre printable, downloadable pattern from Mood Fabrics. As well as I'm going to be using this beautiful, beautiful floral um, tropical print that I picked up from Fabric.com. I will leave links to both the fabric and the pattern down in the description box below. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how... I accomplished this most daring of feats. Then stay tuned. All right, stylers, I have all my pieces already cut out. Um, I have everything I need a zipper, the fly extender, the two pieces for the front waistband, and a long piece cut on the fold for the back waistband, my pockets, and the four pieces cut for the panel of the pants and the lining of the pants. Starting off with the front panels, I'm going to be creating my darts. I simply transform, transfer the markings from the patterns onto my pattern. I'm going to do two um, folded darts in the front panels on both panels of the legs as well as the, the lining. Before I sew down to finish off the pleats, I'm going to put the lining and the facing fabric together. Um, so together I'm going to do a top stitch going over those darts. Then I'm going to go with inserting the first pocket and this is going to be facing the right side of the pant legs. Now it's time to figure out the fly. I went back and forth about which zipper to use. I had a 9 inch visible zipper but it wanted one with the metal exposed teeth. I didn't really have one that I felt was a good fit or that was long enough and you can see me pulling out other zippers so finally I went with this zipper that I got from a bag of zippers that were um, reusable I got it from the thrift store and there's a bunch of older zippers so I went with that it's not um, as long as it needs to be it's about six seven inches instead of nine but I kind of finagle with the length. This is where I make the mistake of putting my zipper further past the top of the pants. I didn't know exactly where to sit it. There was no clear marking on the pattern that I was able to transfer onto the um, fabric. Sewing down the zipper with the teeth facing down, you're gonna sew along the right side. Do a simple um, stay stitch, flip it over, fold in a way that access from the fabric, and you're gonna fold doing a top stitch 
on the left side of the teeth. Firmly uh, attaching that zipper to that panel. And I do this with both the lining and the top fabric. After making a mistake the first time, I went back right sides together, lining up the top of the pants as well as the fly. I'm going to pin down that pocket and then I'm going to go and take all four layers of the pants, so the lining and the outside printed fabric, and I'm going to line up what will be the crotch area and the leg and seam area. So starting where the, the crotch area kind of bows and curves out this will be my front crotch area i'm going to pin it all down making sure all the fabric is lined up and i'm going to do a taste stitch starting from the bottom of where the zipper would end all the way down the curve to the very tip of the crotch Once I finish that, I'm going to flip this open. So they, now you have a front piece of your pants. This is where I first made my mistake. You're gonna fold over the access from the left side. You're gonna fold over the access from the pants, folding it down. And this will, this will create the hidden fly. Um, this fabric will act as the the cover for your zipper. The instructions for this pattern was very unclear, so I'm hoping by me showing you what I'm doing rather than talking, you'll understand. I paint all of this down, and then I'm going to go back and do a top stitch, starting at the top of the waistline, going all the way down to the bottom of the zipper, um, doing a pivot turn, and closing off that. Um, fly so it is a half of a rectangle. So basically we're going to be sewing an L. Going at the top of the waistline, turning and pivot, and closing off the bottom of the zipper. Okay, we have a fly. Go ahead and give that a nice quick press. Now we're going to move it on to the back panels. I put the the lining and the printed fabric together and I go ahead and I attach the I lay down the pocket. Father God have mercy on my soul. I lay down the panel for the pocket um, and give that a quick top stitch. Then I go ahead and pin together the back um, seam of the pants so right sides together you want to take the two panels and pin together all four layers of the panel all four layers of the pants doing a stay stitch back stitching at the top of the end so you're just going to be doing the I think that's called the seat the back seam of the pants not the legs not the inseam the back seam of the pants from starting from your waistline going around to the curve of your butt and after that you have yourself a back panel of pants now we're going to take the front panel and the back panel pin those right sides together making sure you fold out the pockets um, I went ahead and pinned the top of the waistline um, but I made sure that the pockets was lined up be before anything else so don't worry trying to get the middle of the front pin and the middle of the back pin worry about getting those side seams lined up and then you're gonna go through that with a simple stay stitch, started at the top of the pocket, going around the out of outside of the pocket, giving yourself enough room so you can have a decent sized pocket. Going 
around the pocket and down the side seams. All right, stylists, we're almost done. Next, I am doing some interfacing for my waistband. Because this is a, um, a sheer crepe, um, it's very flowy, and I wanted to give some structure and some um, stiffness to my waistband. So beginning with the front waistband, I line up where the zipper goes in. So I want to give myself enough cover so that when the waistband is folded up, it conceals the top of the zipper. And then I pin that all around to right about the side seams where the pocket is. I will leave the type of interfacing I use for this material down in the description box. And then I go on to the other side of the front of the pants and begin it again where that fly extender is going over to where um, it just quite ends so that when I fold it over it conceals this, the top part of the fly and then I move on to the back and that back panel goes all the way around to the sides and the back I begin in the middle and then I work my way around you're gonna do a simple stay stitch. Um, give yourself about five eighths of a seam allowance, making sure you you are now so you're gonna be sewing three levels. Three. Make sure you sew all three layers of fabric, the pants, the lining, and the waistband itself. When I got to the parts where the panels overlap, I get a little fold tuck, and then when I got to the end, I folded over the edges so that when I fold this all up it will conceal itself. Now with the waistband attached and folded over, I'm going to tuck in the seam allowance up into the waistband and do a stitch in the ditch very carefully on the outside of the pants, right side facing up, to um, attach and close off the waistband and hide away all of those seams on the inside of the waistband. And this is why I wanted to add interfacing to my waistband to give it some structure and support so it could be a nice firm waistband and it is not soft and folds and creasing on itself when I try to wear it. After I did that, I went ahead and finished all of my raw edges with a um, closing stitch on my sewing machine because this fabric does fray. Then I went and did a double hem, a wide double hem. My hem was about two inches wide and I went ahead and did that and that finishes off this pair of pants. After giving it a good pressing and that is it guys. So reveal it three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that was <laughs> You can't tell me nothing. You cannot tell me nothing. You cannot tell me nothing. I'm going to take a few minutes here because I didn't want to make the intro super long. But you guys who who know, um, and excuse me, I lost my voice and I'm slowly gaining it back. You guys who know, know that I have been struggling with both pants as well as patents. And so I took a month or so off to we're well not off of using patterns and then just doing vlogs and a few up cycles to really sit down with patterns and figure it out and I'm it's still a learning progress because I'm actually working on something else right now and in that video I'm going to give you more in depth of how I accomplished and what I did with this pattern um it wasn't it wasn't super difficult because the fit was there I was very uh comfortable and satisfied with the pit 
with the fit mood patterns goes up to a size 30 a us 30 and for me that was perfect because i need i need um most of that width um in my hips and my butt and so my waist um i was able i took a little bit in to better fit my waist but it was perfect the issue where i needed to upgrade with this pattern and what i feel for all pants patterns is the 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 height of the um the crotch area how tall long the crotch area is um because one i like to wear things high-waisted um because it's just more flattering on me i can't speak for nobody else it's more flattering on me and two is because of the badonka dunk she she need all that she's gonna take up all the height and so the first mock-up i did i did it true as the pattern is and when i pulled it up it fit but it didn't go any higher so the trick i used is taking a pair of jeans a pants that fit me um that had the height that i need and i use that to measure out how long the crotch that inseam um is for the front and the back and then i cut a pattern piece the width that size um that length and size and then i took i took the pattern and cut it in half um right where the crotch like slopes into the inner inner leg seam and i inserted those panels for the front and the back did another mock-up re that all together and that gave me the perfect fit that i need for the length ah <sighs> this was perfect this was perfect i was so proud of myself i was walking around my house in a pair of white shorts that was basically sheets dancing and screaming because i did it I absolutely love how these pants came out. There are a few things that I want to fix. Um, one being the the length of them. I liked how they were long, but when I wore them, um, I had to go up and down stairs, and so I was I was I caught myself pulling up my pants leg and step and because I was going to step on the pants. So I want to just fold that hem over another two, maybe uh, three inches. To give me that perfect length so then when i walk i'm able to swing out my foot and go up the stairs and you know like how you would do a skirt and i'm not always i don't have to pick up my pants legs to go up the stairs um and then another thing um i made my i put my zipper too far up past the waistline um the top of the pants before you added the waistline so i wasn't able to um attach a, a closure the zipper just kind of did that which is fine but in the future i do like the option of having a zipper and then the claps or a snap closure um and that's because of the, the pictorial on the moods so society was very very unclear <laughs> um you heard me mention it. I, I don't like pictorials when it comes to sewing tutorials, especially for something as detailed as pants. I think pants deserve a video or a step-by-step -step instruction. There was a lot of things I had to guess on my own. Um, and uh, a lot of things I had to go and look up, like how to insert a fly, how to create a fly in a pant. I had to like look at another video on that or go to their Instagram page where I had like saved um, one of, I think helen who was on project one way her where she did a demonstration of how to insert a zipper fly on a pair of pants so yes with all that being said i completed it i finished this i could have finished it in two days um but stuff happened and i had to end up splitting it and how i fitted the high waist how i turned the words I'm looking for, how I turned a mid-rise pants into a high-waisted pants. If you want a more in-depth video, I will gladly sit down and um, refilm some stuff so that you guys can see that. Because I did do that off camera. But I'm so excited. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. I hope you guys are staying safe. And know that you are loved. You are worthy to be loved. But always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.